All right, music fans, welcome back. It's Dave, the real music observer, observing real music in real time for real people just like you right there and just like me right here. Uh, the history of the Eagles, it's been out for quite a long time. It came out before uh, Glenn Fry passed away. Uh, it was done in the spirit of uh, Don Henley and Glenn Fry telling their story. Uh, with, of course, other members of the band adding uh, their two cents worth, uh, but really only two cents. Uh, I think this is a very lopsided, uh, as Eddie Trunk would call it, a very uneven <laughs> documentary. It's uneven. I, again, I'm, it's just, it's boardroom talk. It's uneven, you know. So anyway, uh, I really think there should be, in parentheses, on the DVD or on, you know, the Netflix ordering button, it should say how Don Felder broke up the Eagles almost, not just once, but almost twice. That's, that's, because right off the bat, uh, the band, you know, you see them, they're warming up, they're doing Seven Bridges Road. And it's funny how the camera angle they choose excludes Felder. Felder's back is to you, you can kind of see maybe a little bit of the side of his face, but I mean, you know it's him, but you really can't see him all that well. And that's kind of analogous to the rest of the way this goes down. At one point you hear that audio of the famous fight, I guess it was in Long Beach, right? Where uh, Glenn Fry was saying that he was going to kick a certain part of Don Felder's anatomy around, and uh, they're arguing back and forth, and. Uh, Felder goes and smashes his worst guitar because if he had smashed his best guitar then he would have shown how macho he really was but he only smashed his worst guitar uh, look I love Glenn Fry I've, I've just acknowledged in videos here that I think Glenn Fry uh, was a musical genius I think he was a visionary uh, he was the leader of the Eagles although I think Don Henley felt that he was kind of the, you know, the cerebral, political leader of the band and so forth. Uh, and when they teamed up and they made decisions together, uh, their word was law. I mean, let's just look at it that way. But Felder, in this documentary, is just, it's like he's, he's just trouble. Every time he's talked about, even when, you know, you hear, oh, he fingers Felder. Uh, no, you know, like, we don't get the backstory of how Felder joined. We don't hear about, you know, Good Day in Hell. They're looking for another guitar player. They get Felder. You know, Bernie leaves and Joe Walsh comes in. And, you know, maybe they suffer a little vocally. <laughs> you hear that. There's a little bit of honesty there. But, you know, I think what would be great is an unauthorized Eagles documentary. Unauthorized. Uh, get Felder and get whoever else wants to talk, maybe Randy Meisner, because, you know, he quit. Uh, maybe get Bernie Ledden. Uh, he's not in this Eagles 3.0 thing that's been happening with Vince Gill. Uh, get those guys together. Maybe David Geffen, get him in the room again and really talk about some of the stuff that happened behind the scenes. Maybe get some roadies, maybe get some people who can add more truth and more perspective to this. Uh, we don't hear anything about Don Henley's issues back in, what was it, 1980? Uh, you can Google that and look that up. Uh, he was caught with, um, well, I don't wanna go there. I just, I don't wanna get you know in trouble here on YouTube. So. I will just say that Don Henley was in a very unfortunate situation in 1980, and uh, it was part of the whole Eagles trajectory. It wasn't long after that that the Eagles broke up, uh, but the documentary kind of makes it look like Felder and Long Beach, that was number one, and then Felder, again, wanting his fair share Later on, that Don Felder is very pesky, even though he got Joe Walsh to come back, uh, and you weren't gonna have Walsh come back without Felder. I think the Eagles knew they needed Felder to actually play guitar in case Joe couldn't handle it. 
So those are my thoughts on the Eagles History of the Eagles documentary. There needs to be another one made. Uh, and I would say the same for the Chicago documentary, which was written from the perspective of all the guys in the band who had been there you know, forever, who were making these statements, oh, we just got rid of this guy. And I'd love to hear the Peter Cetera side of the story from a uh, point of view that looked at things a little bit differently. Just like I'd like to hear a documentary from Don Felder's perspective. Of course, there is Don Felder's book, but wouldn't it be nice to have that book maybe get to uh, the small screen? We shall see. Maybe somebody will take me up on this idea. All right, I'm done. I'll be back soon.